Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our worldwide audience and IIU fans. I, Professor Nada Ratkovic, the co-founder of IIU Europe, the president of IIU Research Center, country director Croatia and board member of IIU. Hearty welcome and big warm enough to encompass you all from the International Internship University on this auspicious occasion of the launching of the transformative initiative G20 International 2030 Summit. Welcome researchers, experts, innovators, leaders and change makers. Let me first today introduce our great organizers. So the group of 20 G20 stands as a permanent platform for fostering international economic cooperation Pivotal and shaping and fortifying the global framework and governance concerning crucial economic matters worldwide. India proudly assuming the presidency of the G20 from December 1st, 2022 to November 30, 2023, embraces the opportunity to spearhead the changes. Guided by the resolute headership of Dr. Sri Vidya Sukumar from the United Arab Emirates and with unwearing support from the esteemed International Internship University, IAU core committee and team, we are prepared to unveil a transformation initiative. IAU is posed to launch an empowering endeavor to revolutionize the world of women and social entrepreneurs. Additionally, we are set to convene an esteemed worldwide think tank for the foster comprehensive discussion to achieve equality for all on equal world education opportunities for all the individuals. With the upcoming G20 summit being organized virtually, we have the unappreciated opportunity to transcend geographical boundaries and bring together brilliant minds from all concerns of the globe. We can pave the way for a future where everyone can thrive through collaboration, innovation, and collective determination. As we embark on this extraordinary journey, let us be inspired by the words of great thinkers. The future belongs to those who believe in the power of their dreams and are committed to turn them into reality. That was a thought of Eleanor Roosevelt. Another thought by Melinda Gates says, empowering women and providing them with equal opportunities isn't just a moral imperative, it's an investment in the prosperity of the nations. When we empower women, we empower communities, nations, and the world, their potential knows no bounds. True equality means giving everyone the same opportunities to succeed regardless of gender or background, a great Cheryl Sounder. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Together, we can build a future where equality is cornerstone of the success. Let us join hands united in our pursuit of the world where every individual irrespective of the gender or circumstances can release their failed potential and contribute to the progress and prosperity of our global community. Together, we can make a lasting impact and create a legacy of equality for all the generation. And yes, our Piyush Pandit, the visionary educationist, always had a dream to provide education to every learner across the world. He believes that the world is a changing drastically, so there is no need to make changes in the education system. With this thought, Piyush Pandit concocted the world's first digital internship university, IAU, in 2020. IAU is providing quality, skill-based, affordable, accessible, location, independent, and skill-based digital education to all the learners across the globe, along with the internship opportunities, research facilities, through its thousand plus virtual courses to all learners across the globe, through the platform of Mio OC, the massive open online courses with the aim of promoting internships 
opportunities and research facilities to its learners. IAU has been accredited and affiliated with the World Education Organization, VEO, and International Accreditation Organization, IAO, and collaborated with all the world's top universities and educational institutions. In a short span of time, IAU has spread its wings in 195 countries, six continents, <coughs> pardon, <coughs> with a team of 1,000 plus experienced and qualified global educators across the world. IAU is registered in India, Australia, Nepal, USA government, the first global internship university. So IAU, as we said, Australia under the Patent Act 1990, Innovation Patent Certification from Ripple Proof, ISO certified in 2005, AIO duly registered in 2021 by the all certificates on the si section 60. So registered again, I will repeat in India, Nepal, Australia, and with USA government. Let me now call a strong woman, a powerful woman. She's coming from Puerto Rico. She's our core team member, Miss Virginia Riviera. You are most welcome. Thank you so much, Professor Nara. I'm so excited to be here. I'm very, very thrilled to share this virtual podium with amazing, powerful leaders looking towards change. And most importantly, knowing that 2030 is right around the corner. It is not far away. I want to thank everyone and everybody that's here with us today because we are walking towards change. We are creating change. I am very, very honored and very humbled to be part of an amazing team here at IIU. And obviously, um, Neda talked a little bit about it before. Our founder, Piyush Pandit, he is a serial entrepreneur, but most importantly, he has a visionary. Then we have our trusty and esteemed trustee, and Rashmi. And I'm sorry about the names. I speak Spanish normally, so I sort of like change the names a little bit. Dr. Rashmi Lal, I am very, very thrilled that she is part of this amazing team and our project leader today. I have just met her and I'm so impressed with what she brings to the table. Dr. Priya Sukumar, did I say that right? Yes. She would Thank be you so person. much. Also with us today, and we're going to be seeing her throughout the entire series, we have Dr. Snigna Kadam. She's a project coordinator. You already met our very respected Professor Neda Rakovic. She's our project director. We also have Ermina Raescu, and she's a moderator and she's a research fellow, part of this amazing team. With us today, we are thrilled to have Sandy Azri, and I said Sandy for short, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you can tell me and tell me, that way I can learn the names better. She's also one of our moderators and research fellow. And we will be having Dr. Inga, Karshilala, who is also, if you haven't seen her, you need to see this woman. She is a powerhouse here at IIU, and she's also a moderator and research fellow. I just joined this team. I'm so excited to be here. I'm a female empowerment mentor and coach, and I am an educator for more than 20 years, believing that we all have and need access to education. So going towards 2030, we are exactly where we need to be. Thank you all for being here with us today. Thank you, Dr. Virginia. It was so nice and very kind of you for such a warm introduction and warm welcome to all the team members and also Professor Nada for such a very elaborate, very comprehensive description about the G20 and the purpose of this platform on this evening. Why are we here even for the cause of the society, for our deliverance to the society, taking back to the society? There we are. Thank you, Professor. Thank you so much. And that was quite comprehensive. Moving ahead, I'm here to talk uh, to uh, uh, in gratitude to express my sincere grant, uh, gratitude to IAU for the myriad benefits of internships and highlight that shape the students' future. And so with warm welcome to not only the students, but also the researchers, but also the leaders, change makers to unlock your potential, explore the world through the internship programs 
and also the other programs which IRA has been conducting with great gratitude in heart. And we are going to take this program forward with uh, big thanks to Mr. Piyush Pandit sir and also about the team of IIU for their contribution. Moving ahead, uh, my job is to talk about uh, G20. What is the G20 is all about? That's what is my going to be. Uh, am I allowed to share my PowerPoint if it's okay? Yes, you can. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Hope my screen is visible. Yeah, yeah. What's this G20 is about, all about? No, not yet. Yeah. Screen share is loading. There. Yeah. yeah, there we are. Yes, as Dr. Nada was mentioning very clearly, what this G20 is all about? G20 stands as a paramount platform for fostering all economic cooperation and um, uh, functionalities which are pivotal in shaping and fortifying global framework and governance concerning crucial economic matters worldwide. And there we are today to discuss how to plan it further among, with our team, how, how to conduct these sessions uh, and uh, how to take it forward. So what, when was this G20 established? It was established in the year 1999 in the wake of 1997 Asian financial crisis to bring together major advance on emerging economies to stabilize the global financial market bringing together systematically the important industrialized and developing economies to discuss the key issues in the global economy. Held and it is held annually with all the finance ministers and the central bank governors as meetings or otherwise the forums. And what do they discuss there? They discuss the measures to promote the financial stability of the world to achieve a substantial, uh, sustainable economic growth and development. And so these G20 summits have been held in Washington in 2008, in London and Pittsburgh in 2009, and Toronto and Seattle in 2010. And France is honored to have honored the chair in the group of 2021. So once again, the group of 20 or the G20 is a premium forum for international economic cooperation made up of 19 countries and the European Union representing the world's major developed and emerging economies. So, which other countries do we see here? It started with G7 and then it became G8 with G7 started with Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, United Kingdom, United States of America. So Russia joined later that became G8. And finally with Argentina, Australia, Brazil, China, European Union, India, Indonesia, Mexico, and Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Korea, and Turkey, together they form the G20 countries. And as we have seen the members, and each year the presidency invites the guest countries to participate, where Spain is always invited as a permanent guest. However, globally, these G20 countries represent 65% of the world population, 79% of the world trade, 84% of the world economy and 79% of the world carbon emissions. So what does the G20 do? It's a G20 is a premium global forum for discussing the economic issues. So what are the objectives of G20? Policy coordination between the member countries to achieve the global economic stability and sustainable growth. To promote financial regulations that reduce risk and prevent finan future financial crisis and to create a, a new international financial architecture. So when we do that, when we talk about 85% of the global GDP, 75% of the global trade, 64% of the world population, all these members, the 19 countries together, what do they have the key priorities as? One earth, one family, and one future. Mm -hmm. With the focus areas of climate financing, coordination on crypto assets, energy transition to renewables, world, woman-led development. An engagement group called Start 20 to recommend actions on how to address the growth challenges and other constraints is going to be the three priorities that are going to be addressed for and enriching the global economy. And how often do, do these members meet? The forum is met every year since 1999 with the leaders meeting for an annual G20 leaders summit since 2008. 
and the 2020 summit was held virtually due to COVID-19. Otherwise, they were all meeting every year, as you can see over here in the chronology. 1999, set up a former finance ministers and central bank ministers in 19 major economies and the EU after East Asian financial crisis of 1997. November 15 to 16, 2022, forthcoming summit to be held in Bali, Indonesia. And 20, 2008, it was an elevated to the Forum of Heads of the States after global financial crisis, December 20. December 1st, 2022, December 4th and 7th, 2022, and September 9th, 10th, 2023. And it's the G20 summit, which is going to be held in New Delhi, India. And that's why we are talking about all these involving more of Indian participation now. And where these G20 uh, meetings will take place in India in 2023 and Brazil in 2024. And moving ahead, what does the presidency of India have set for? The presidency will offer India a chance to steer the G20 agenda and India will be responsible for hosting G20 meetings throughout the year and the presidency doesn't offer any of the special powers. Though we are so excited to meet at G20 forum, that's going to be from India, New Delhi. So moving ahead, that's why we are here to, on this forum to discuss on what all could be our contributions as we are welcoming researchers, leaders, project leaders and change makers who can contribute for a change. As I mentioned before, it's like giving back to the community, how well we can give back to the community. community. So moving ahead, we have our partner, Ms. Sandy, who is going to talk about the different schedule that we have just formulated and kept. We will try and stick on to the same schedule throughout. If there are any changes which is going to happen or forth, coming forth, then we'll let you know before. So over to Ms. Sandy Balaji, who, who prefers calling her Sandy. And yeah. the floor is all yours, Sandy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Vidya. And uh, what a beautiful explanation about G20, its aims and objectives that even a small baby could easily understand what it is. Now, uh, uh, let me try to share my screen. Just uh, need a moment. Great, Sales. If I'm going to share the screen, is it okay? No, I am just trying. I guess uh, you will have to do it again. This okay, is not fine. working. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do that. Dr. Srividya, you can share the screen. I, I'm doing it. I'm trying it now. Yes. Oh, okay. It's great, yes. The last but once. Yes. Mm. So again, uh, we have charted out a plan that we had already followed and we're trying to do that once again. And we begin with the most important of all, the knowledge. You give somebody a, non, a bit of knowledge or learning, you cannot take it away from them. So, so having knowledge or uh, spreading knowledge and giving education a purpose or having all round education is what we're trying to discuss on the 9th of July with Education 360 as our presidency, where we will be looking at learning opportunities for lifelong learning opportunities for all at any time, any point of time. So the two great lifelines of a society are the youth and the women. So with Shakti Spectrum and Yuva go global. On 16th of July, 2023, we are looking at uh, talking about ways and means on how best can we uh, capitalize on these both resources for every society in the world. Now everything is a click away and with every click we make new developments. So digitization and innovation are two important things that we need to look at and how 
best can we mobilize the science, the stream, the vocation, and the employability in every part of the world? How to implement the skill? workforce or bring about sustainable growth with digitization is what we look at week three. On week four, here we are giving wings to dreams by talking about entrepreneurship and MSME and how can each of the small industrial units try to look at a global, have a global face. On 9th of August, 2023, we will talk about energy so resources, sources, sustainability, and employability. Of, of all the things that we've always been told, health is wealth. And what more can we look at if we have everything but no health? So definitely a very, very important aspect of every society. We need to talk about health as well. And also that is uh, totally uh, Correlatable along with the health is the main part is what we eat is what we are today. So we also need to talk about agriculture and food and food security and uh, discuss on how globally can we bring in patterns and opportunities and bring in a new rule or role of policy. Again, as we say, if uh, you have to call something as the brain of a business or a society. It is finance and economy. So the next weeks on 20th and 27th of August, we will discuss the various aspects of inclusion uh, and financial architecture and international growth with our presidency as accelerated, inclusive and resilient growth and also with another presidency on 27th to reform, reshape and restructure and reconstitute the international tax structure. If we call finance the heart, uh, sorry, the brain, the heart of our society is the culture. So here we are to discuss about how best to make or take the best from every culture and heritage and also tourism as a means to bring in sustainable development. Of course, we are, as uh, uh, say, uh, uh, Dr. Virginia said, 2030 is not far away, right? So just seven years ahead in front of us, how best and how near are we to our goals. We will review our action plans, add inputs, and get closer to what we call as the ideal Vasudaiva Kutumbakam, what we're planning. Finally, on the 17th of September, we will conclude our sessions gloriously and with a proud call up that we have contributed back to this beautiful world. Thank you so much once again. Thank you, Ms. Sandy. Thank you so much. So I think uh, that was very comprehensive. Yes, Professor Nada, would you like to add something there? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I want to say that this is a really, uh, this is something what this world needs. This G20 summit is very important for all, not only for educators, for, for agriculture, for medicine, for engineering, for all the field, it is really important. So we are honored, Dr. Srividya uh, and the great uh, Sandy, that we, IAU, are doing this amazing project together. So thank you. Thank you so much for this great opportunity. Yeah, the pleasure is all ours, and thank you once again for the collaboration. Yeah. Dr. Virginia, would you like to add something? Yes, definitely. Um, like I said before, and as I started, 2030 is right around the corner. Education should be available to everybody. It's not just education in the academic sense. It's really making sure that we actualize. We have new technologies. We have new AI abilities that we can definitely hone into, making sure that the human soft skills are being developed for the new world. I love the way we have broken down that schedule. It attends every single one of the critical aspects of us living in a planet that's sustainable for all. And I loved when um, Dr. Neda was talking about women being involved and most importantly, being seen as a team and as a collaborator in what the world is coming to. Inclusion, 
is key because diversity is just being different. When we include everybody, then we know that we're using everybody's talent. So definitely this really promises. I'm very excited about the next three months and what it promises for all of us. And I do expect everybody to join us because this is an effort of all of us, not just some of us. Thank nice. you. That's brilliant. That's really, really brilliant. Yes, nice. we have Dr. Inka here. Yes. yes. How are you, Dr. Inka? I am very, very fine. So thank you so much. Here. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Greetings with great respect, everyone from Georgia. Today is a very, very important day because another important project is starting to work. Wow. Thank you very much to your dear Srividya Sukumar for this great initiative, Project Head. Yes. Also, my dear sister, Professor Dr. Nadaratkovic, or oh, Project Director. Thank you, dear for everything. Thank you to IAU best team, of course. I want to wish you a lot of success. Thank you, Mr. Piyush Pandit. Uh, yes, they, I know that G20 plays uh, uh, an important role in uh, shaping and uh, strengthening global architecture and uh, government on all major international economic issues. Yes, this is a very important news. Thank you so much, dear. And uh, you know, I am confident that IAU will revolution it once again. Congratulations again. I'm always with you. Thank you. And yes, you know what I want to say here, uh, we, we miss uh, some of our great uh, team core members because today they have a bad network, but IAU has strong women, leading women. So every woman is coming from a special field. So we are covering all the fields. So that is the strongest of IAU. So doc and when, when, and when, Dr. Srividya join us. So no words, no words. Yes, yes. Now so I promise so from village, do you know, dear Nada, because I am always with you. Thank you so much, Virginia. There, my respect to you and the sun. Sorry, I don't know. It's for the color Sandy. <laughs> yes, easier to call me Sandy. Sandy. Yeah. Thank you, team. It was a fabulous. It was just a wonderful uh, uh, inauguration today, and so we are. I think we need to really hold on to us for just another six days. So the seventh day, we are here the same time to discuss yes. on education 360, which is a heart, which is a topic which is so close to all of our hearts because we are all educationists. And if we're going to talk about education, we never know where to start and where to end. Also, it's normally it's like that. And so, they're yeah. so very passionate. And so I'm sure we'll have a lot of speakers who are going to share their thoughts on Education 360 next week. Yes, so let us call our wonderful audience, their audience, thank you for being with us and giving us a big support in each one our event. Uh, we are inviting you all to the 9 July 2023 at the same time on the first topic of this amazing G20 Summit, Education 360, ensure inclusively equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities. So till our next event, stay safe, stay healthy, and let us learn and grow together. Thank you. Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Good luck. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. So much. Until Thank next you. week. Yes. Until next week. Bye.